Hello and welcome guys, it is that SRB2 dude here today bringing you yet another analytical video or analysis video about the Splat Charger. Now the Charger category in Splatoon is a very tricky category to get used to. It requires a high amount of accuracy as you have to hold the R trigger down to charge up your ink, then release to shoot a line of ink. This can be very handy to make a path through your enemy's ink. Now there are four different variations of the Splat Charger, two of which is the Splat Charger and the Splatterscope, which both come with Splat Bombs and the Bomb Rush, and you have the Kelp Splat Charger and the Kelp Splatterscope, which both come with the Sprinkler and the Killer Whale. Both of the scoped chargers are slightly different to the originals. They come with slightly more range and they make it easier for you to shoot longer range targets. The chargers that don't have a scope still give you a long range of fire and give you a large amount of visibility to aim down your target. Now to make great use of the charger, you don't want to be too aggressive like you're using a Dlatter Shot Tentatech. You need to remember that you have a lot of range to work with, so playing defensively is probably the best option. Taking advantage of higher ground with the Splat Charger gives you a lot of power, as you'll be able to see a vast majority of an area and you'll have the option to back up if you're being suppressed. Now a really interesting thing that can really help a Splat Charger is having one or two damage up perks. Now what this will allow you to do is that you will not have to fully charge every single shot. Damage up perks will allow you to take out mid-range enemies in a pinch. However, do not rely on damage up perks all the time, as some people do run defense up perks, which does counter this. As I've said before, working with the range of a charger is the best way to go with this weapon. However, there will be some times where somebody does rush you and then you'll be in a close range engagement. What I would recommend with this is clearly just to run away. So having some run speed perks and some swim speed perks to get away from your enemy as far as possible so that you will have enough range to work with and then finish off the enemy. Now I've been asked countless times how I hit people with the charger so easily. Have you ever noticed when you've tracked an enemy when you have your fully charged shot, the enemy immediately squid forms or runs away in an awkward fashion? This is because they can see the laser that you're shining on them. So what you want to do is point the laser away from the enemy, fully charge your shot, then bring the laser over to the enemy to eliminate them. What I normally do is fully charge my shot aiming at the floor so my enemies are oblivious to what I'm about to do to them. The Charger greatly succeeds in certain game modes, such as Tower Control. The reason why is because the Charger can fulfill a role that's greatly beneficial for the team. As a Charger in Tower Control, your job is not to get into Tower. Your job is solely to pick people off the Tower if challenged, and to get kills. You may have an easier time doing this because the other team's state of mind is mostly just to get to the tower to push it to your base, which allows you to easily pick off people that are on the tower. Now between the regular Splat Charger and the Kelp Splat Charger, I wouldn't say either one is better than the other. It all depends on how you use the sub weapon and special weapon on the certain maps that you play on, such as smartly placing your sprinkler, using the bomb rush to gain control, and using the killer whale in very narrow areas. And of course, this weapon requires a high amount of accuracy, so I do recommend that you use motion controls. Overall, the Splat Charger is an amazing weapon and it can really perform well in the right hands. Just be careful of people that use Elite of Free Ks as they do have the longer range and you will not be able to reach them if you're too far away from them. And as always, I hope that you guys have enjoyed this informative video. Please like, favorite, comment and subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow me on Twitter and Twitch, both in the description below. Do it for both if you're feeling generous. And as always guys, this has been that SRB2 dude and I shall see you guys in another one of these videos.